Hi, I'm Tressie Nicole, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This vlog is how I spent my time in Switzerland exploring the Jungfrau region. I arrived in Zurich and spent a few hours transporting to the magical town of Interlaken. The train ride from Zurich to Interlaken looked like I was entering into a fairy tale. The next morning, I got up early to take the long journey, but in a good way, to the top of Europe. Now you have the option of taking trains, or you can take a gondola in a train. I decided to take the Eigler Express gondola so I can get these amazing views. Once you exit the gondola, you do have to take a train ride to continue to the top of Europe. We were able to stop for five minutes to get a picture of the glacier. Don't worry if you're not able to get a picture of the glacier from that point of view. There's so many more areas that you're gonna get great pictures once you arrive at the top of Europe. Time for the top of Europe experience. Floors are not slippery at all, and I didn't even have the right kind of shoes on for that type of adventure. There is a handrail for you to hold just in case you're a little afraid, but I promise you, it's not slippery and it's not as cold as you may think it is. Look how beautiful this is. I would go up there, but it's very slippery. I don't have the right type of shoes to go up there. So I'll pass. You see those people right there, she's struggling. Oh, she fell. Yeah, I'm not going up there. And this is the area where you're gonna get those spectacular pictures of the glacier. So like I said, don't worry about it if you're not able to get great pictures when you exit the train. Now a sweet ending to the top of Europe is the Lent Chocolate Factory, where you get to choose from all different flavors that you may not see in your country. Who's about to get chocolate wasted? I am about to get chocolate wasted. Asia, 
Are you about to get chocolate wasted? Yeah, but chocolate wasted. Chocolate wasted. On to the next day where I visit Lot of Bruin to visit the beautiful, iconic waterfalls. You can hike up this trail to go behind the waterfall. But that's not what I'm doing today. So next to the waterfall, it's a beautiful cemetery. Is it just me? So if any of you guys out there has a fascination with cemeteries, let me know. The older, the better. Stopped at Waffling to get me some powdered donuts. Hmm? Only sugar? Only sugar. Thank you. just reminds me. There are plenty of restaurants where you can sit down and have a great meal, but I was on the move. Next stop, Heiderklum. Heiderklum is a great spot for you to grab something to eat and get spectacular views of both Lake Dunn and Lake Breeze. You can see the whole town of Interlaken. They were filming a movie over here for Thailand. The food is pretty pricey up there, so be prepared. On my last full day, I took a four hour train ride just to ride the longest toboggan run in Switzerland. Now I know I'm gonna mess this name up, but I believe it's called Pradashir Mountain Coaster in the town of Chernwalden. Now the coaster is 3,060 meters long, 480 meters high with 31 curves. In order to get to the top to ride the toboggan, you have to take a chair lift. And the chair left took about five minutes just to get to the top. Now, once we arrived, there was a long line and it took about an hour for us to be able to ride the coaster. You have the option to ride it once, three times, and five times. We bought the three time package, but I only rode it once because I did not feel like going through that whole journey and waiting the line all again. But I must admit, I had so much fun on that ride. I wasn't able to film because they do not allow you to have your cell phone out or any cameras while riding the toboggan. So if you're in the area, it's a must do. I took the four hour train ride back to my Airbnb where I end up packing for my next journey, which is Italy. If you enjoyed this video of Switzerland, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time and thank you for watching.